What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Be Is For Bill. This is a pretty epic one for us because this is like a lifetime goal. We have leased a giant shop. We've got a new workspace, plenty big to store all the cars in and for us all to work in. And it's really an amazing thing and a really amazing milestone. The guys have not seen this place at all yet. So this is gonna be their first look and I wanna give you guys a walkthrough, see our new space. Now this space is astronomically large, and with that comes an astronomically large bill, so enjoy a word from our sponsor. All right guys, well this is the entryway to our new building, or the, the lobby. This is the lobby for the, the new shop. We have the mega desk. This, this place isn't in a great neighborhood, so I'm a little worried about putting like my gaming, like not a gaming, but some sort of streaming or whatever rig in here, so probably, probably won't be really used, but who knows, maybe we'll put something cool in here. Um, one big bonus of this area is it is able to be heated independently of the other shop, so we can have a place to go and, and warm up. Um, this is, <laughs> you, as you can see, I mean, we could easily fit a car right here, but there is no door system that leads into this area that is large enough to have a car. So we can't put a car here. I've been thinking about a pool table. I'd like to put a pool table here. I've, I've, I've had gaming in mind. I got the dartboard set up um, right here with a nice like protective backing board that was already there. So that's our section for playing darts on lunch breaks. This open space right here, I think is, it's something like a thousand square feet. <laughs> so. To put that into perspective, our last shop space is 650 square feet. So just, just the entryway, just, just the lobby of this place is almost double what our other shop is. Good for Oscar and Kyle who are constantly in the bathroom. We have two bathrooms. They're both you and I sex. Uh, yeah, there's no, well, I guess there's no label on that one and then that one says ladies. But anyways, we've got two bathrooms. Kyle's got his own bathroom. Huh? Yep, Kyle's got his own dedicated bathroom. We've got some weird water thing coming in here. It looks like we could probably run, run one of those uh, water dispenser things for your cup. We have some terrible beer. Don't ever try that out. That's just gross. And as we come in over this way, we've got what will definitely be considered more of like the chill out section where we'll put a couch and we'll put a TV on this wall here. So this wall kind of wraps around here and it's again, just like a section that could easily fit a car and we could work in here, but we can't fit cars in here. Um, something that I didn't even know about till after I signed the leasing agreement, there's offices in here. <laughs> These are also heated. Um, nice little office. This office has a door that leads into the main shop, into one of the areas where I plan on be doing some work. Um, and then over here is another office that, uh, you know, just, just an office. There are lights for this place. We should turn the lights on. Oh, all the lights are brand new. They're LED. No, they're not. They're questionable. So you guys might be wondering like, Chris, why'd you get such a big shop? And what the hell is the plan here? Good question. So uh, we are building some cars very rapidly. We need to be able to work on multiple cars at once at this point. Our little shop can't take all three of us plus the tools that we have plus the vehicles. So we wanted to do that. So we were originally looking for a shop that had like, you know, between 3,000 and 5,000 square feet and no one would lease us a shop for like a year at, at any, well, they just wouldn't do it. Nobody would give us a one year lease. They all wanted like a three, four or five year lease. And I am trying to build that other shop attached to our current shop. That that is a 5,000 square foot shop design and I'm in the process of working with the permitting and everything like that to build that place. So I was like, okay, I just need something temporary. And the only thing we could find was this place that is temporary and it's large enough for us to work in and store all of the builds. It's 9,000 square feet. It's just epic. So let's walk through this office door and walk into kind of what is gonna be our working area now. So these are our main garage doors. We have uh, two of them. They open, I don't know what that is, maybe 12 feet, 12 foot. What do you think, Oscar? Uh, I'd say about 12 foot, yeah. Yeah. That's Kyle, two Kyle's, yeah. About 12 foot garage doors are wide enough to fit most vehicles in. We haven't really stress tested them, but I think it's a standard size. So the jumper con should fit in with like an inch to spare on each side. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I really like this corner of the shop area. So, because <laughs> I like the natural concrete look versus the uh, bad epoxy look. See, I was actually doing some work in here. I did a trans flush on Chelsea's Jeep. That's, don't, 
that's blood, not that's not ATF, that's blood. Don't call the EPA. So this is one of the areas that I'm thinking about uh, doing work in. We have some nice shelving back there. You can see there is tons of power absolutely everywhere. Air compressor lines, as you can see, lots of power going around. This area again has great, great lighting. The walls are all dirty all through here. It's kind of a bummer, but also it's kind of fitting for BS for build. We ain't fancy. We try and build fancy things once in a while, but honestly, I'm just so happy to have the space that I really don't care. Here's another air dryer. A There's a for our tree when we're oh yeah, out. dude. We could pull pull uh, vehicles with this. Yeah, I don't think this will go anywhere. <laughs> Watch, we rip the whole building down. We do have insurance for the entire building. It's very expensive. Yeah, Kyle, careful touching that. That's an open electrical outlet. Um, I don't think that's up to code. Uh, I was a little surprised by that, but anyways. So we're starting to walk towards the midsection. Let me think about the width. I know how wide this thing is. Let me calculate. This is 90 feet wide. So that's a 30 foot section, 30 foot section, 30 foot section that the guys are in. Sorry, I could zoom back out. 30, 30, and 30. To put it into perspective, our last shop was basically 30 by 34. So the last shop would be like, if you cut it from my hand, over and at the end of that concrete that was the footprint we were working in and now <laughs> we're working in a lot 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 more the floors as i mentioned definitely leave a lot to be desired but since we're not doing like a mondo lease on this building uh we didn't you know we weren't in a place to demand upgrades we can upgrade them if we want and i was thinking about potentially doing those little click together tiles uh, but we'll just have to see how important that really lands on our list of things to do I don't know what this little hut is over here. These are our, um, our bay doors, like our freight doors. So I just today had a delivery of freight and we actually had a freight truck pull up and drop stuff off, which is really exciting. I'll talk about this stuff in a second. Where did it just kick? There's some duct tape. Um, this box right here. Oh, great. It's a wooden electrical room. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's strange. So yeah, we got the shipment this morning. Uh, as you can see by the name on the boxes here, it's time for a redemption build. If you don't know what that means already, just stay tuned for the next episode. We have 30 foot tall ceilings. So one of the things I thought is like testing the jump con. If we built a jump, we definitely have the space to just drive, jump, and hopefully stop before you hit a concrete wall. All right, on the other end of this door is my R34. We're gonna open the door and pull it in, put it next to the DeLorean. I love the wrap color on this car so much. It is so good. I don't think Kyle's got enough angle in it right now. That's a start. Kind of looks as if the R69 is a lot longer than the DeLorean. I don't know. I'm thinking this is kind of a good idea because you could just see the cars a lot better from the side angle. So, yeah. <laughs> so we figured out our game plan. Back wall, cars, all cars. Ranging from the ones we're gonna drive the most probably over here by the bay doors to drive out to the cars that are probably projects and waiting on that end of the building over there. Coming over to here, right where I'm standing right here, the middle section, this is gonna be filming spot number one, primary filming spot. Secondary section is gonna be this corner right here. It's a 60 by 30 space, so it's plenty large enough. It'll be right there on, the, on that color of concrete, but we're also gonna have all our fab stuff set up over there uh, in the form of benches and things like that. Tools over here, fab stuff over here workspace here workspace here cars through here that's the game plan our friends at Harbor Freight sent us a bit of a welcome package it is at a local store down the road so let's go get it all right we got goodies lots of good stuff <laughs> thank you thank you so Oscar really wanted for the new set he really wanted to get a huge uh, mechanics tool set so we got a new cart tool set and this looks like sliding tray and we have a few things that got shipped to us already back in the shop so let's see if we can load all this up in the back of the truck and then head back to the shop this thing is legit thanks Harbor Freight for sending this over for us so this is gonna be Oscar's move around tool chest this one is for you I'm gonna have my own. Out of these, or see, I don't, I don't use a lot of tools. Out of these organizational things, I'm gonna take this and this, and that'll be the start to my little tool chest. This will be for Oscar. Kyle will, will share. This is their 30 inch uh, five drawer mechanics tool chest in, and it looks really, really good and gray. And they sent us just about every organizational tool you could ever want. They knew what we were up to, hooking us up with another uh, 20 volt um, angle grinder. So that, that gives us two. I don't know if you guys saw, but like two weeks ago or something, they sent us a ton of new 20 volt tools. So now we, we're using their impacts, uh, drills, 
pretty much everything now we're on the 20 volt system and it's working out awesomely they also sent us some lights that worked really really well and were very helpful on the road trip so uh yeah there's a lot of a uh, lot of pieces how many pieces did you get oscar in your tool set 400 and something, 400 and something. 428 so you only have 428 pieces to put away but once you do man it's gonna be a nice tool set so a huge thanks to harbor freight for helping us out with all of these tools we've used harbor freight since the beginning of the channel we all love the you know cutting up lambos with harbor for angle grinders meme and uh it's just really cool to be partnered with you guys so thanks for that all right let's uh we'll get that wrapped and then we got to get some cars in here we're missing a actually yeah speaking of lambos there's a good spot for them right about there We got cars. We got some of the collection. So how many cars we got in the shot? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thought I miscounted there for a second. That'd be pretty stupid. I can count to nine, guys. So nine of our builds, that's roughly a third of the collection that BS for Build owns, but we don't want to fill this space up with just every single car we've ever built. Still to come, we've got the single seater, which I think is going to go over there. The Lotus Evora and the Aston Martin are going to go over here. The RX-7 is going to kind of uh, shift over there. This is going to be kind of the cars that are yet to be worked on um, section. I think is going to be all through there. We have big empty middle section that we really don't know what to do with. And then like we said earlier in the episode, main working space right here, secondary working space over here, all the fab stuff over here you can see we brought in a ton of stuff we brought in the whole other shop and really show you guys in sizing i mean like from right about here where my feet are to that wall and that concrete going that way that's about the size of the the old shop that we had to work with and then now we have you know lots more space now and minus a few tables and a few small things this is all of the other shop most of the stuff we actually won't use um, we don't use a ton of different tools but we did get all of the important tools over here. We actually have a recycling bin full of stainless steel to build exhaust, which is pretty awesome. Oscar's hanging up some of our sponsor banners. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is all the tools from the old shop. I am in the process of ordering tables, so we have somewhere to set these up on top of and underneath of. Um, we're not really super duper organized people here at BS Rule. Oscar's pretending he's gonna be. Oh, wow, yeah, Oscar's re really pretending here. But we, Oscar. How much time did you spend doing this? This is, a, look, he's already missing a third of these. Anyways, what I was gonna say is even though we have space, we'll try and keep things tidy, but don't expect the most neat shop out of us. It's just not really how we roll. I'd rather spend my time building cars than organizing tool trays. Coming through into more of our office area. I really wanted to show you guys this full space, but we had privacy issues with these. These windows weren't covered. So we bought some cheap um, vinyl fabric that blocks out all the light and everything. And so we covered all the windows just to keep our privacy. Uh, this isn't a great neighborhood, so I definitely don't ever want people seeing through there and through those windows and then seeing all the cars and stuff like that. It's just gonna promote break-ins and stuff like that. Got the dartboard set up right there. I gotta put my tape line back down. Uh, this is a space. Don't worry about this. This is for working out basically. Last but not least is the chill out spot. I got some snacks, so that's a good start, but we gotta do some upgrades in here. Chill out spot is complete. Got a couple couches. One of these couches is gonna end up in one of these rooms eventually if anybody needs to take a nap, but they're really cheap. They're like a hundred and something bucks and you can just move them around. So I don't know, for now, it was a good for lunch spot. We got TV attached to a computer, some swords I bought at Disney World for absolutely no reason. We found a LZ MFG flag in our, in our group of merch. So I'd like to put friends, uh, different shops and channels and flags and stuff probably on this wall. I think we're gonna try and fill that up. And we've got a fridge slash whiteboard. Jason Fenske really needs to get into this so this is a fridge that you can whiteboard on too so if the schematics get real technical we'll bring you guys to the fridge so coming back out here to the cars obviously you guys probably have some questions about the supra that has finally made it back stateside you probably have some questions about what the hell is that rx7 doing over there uh, in the next episode i'm going to talk about what's next for the delorean the delorean ev swap delorean project i'm going to be talking about what's next and inside that episode i'm going to talk about why we have these two jdm beauties sitting over here this one is actually usdm 
that's uh, left hand drive uh, RX-7 that I bought from the guys at Gears and Gasoline. And then this is my Supra that I went to Japan to uh, go look at before I shipped it over to the United States. But for right now, I got something special I wanna show you guys right here from our boys at Bunker Branding. Let me unbox these real quick. To support this crazy new shop endeavor, I wanted to come out with some uh, some new merch to kind of commemorate that. So we got the MB is for Build We Trust um, t-shirt. Now you guys may remember that when we bought the first original BS for Build shop, that was a huge, huge stretch for us. I had just lost my job and I went all in on YouTubing and it was going well enough and I decided to buy the original shop uh, and we printed this shirt. And it was like in BS for Build We Trust, we were gonna build that crazy car over there. That, if you don't know, is a Datsun, a 71 Datsun 240Z with all M5 underpinning. So that's got a naturally aspirated V10 engine that revs up to like 9,000 RPM. It's pretty insane. We were gonna do that build and we had just moved into a brand new shop and we were undertaking a lot and we made this shirt to commemorate that. So we are bringing this shirt back for another round. Um, we also brought back a fan favorite in the, uh, what I call the multilingual hoodie. This is BS for Build in Japanese, our main logo, and then BS for Build in Webdings. Wingdings, Webdings, not quite sure. I designed it, I should know, but it's one of those two. We did that in a shirt as well. And then we have the uh, classic BS for Build hoodie. Everything on our store, uh, you can find all of it at bsforbuild.com. If you buy any of this merch right here or hats or anything else, it all comes with a free sticker right now. So if you wanna go and help out and try and help support us with, with this, this new craziness, uh, this is a financial undertaking larger than we've, we've ever done. If this place was in Florida, I happen to know from some of my friends that own very large place in Florida, it, it would not be nearly as expensive, but being where we are, this place is spendy as all hell. It's a big risk for us, but we think it's definitely worth it to keep good care of the cars, to have them all here, um, and just so we can build faster, better, more stuff. I mean, it's a, it's a huge step, but anyways, what I'm saying is I could use your guys' support. If you can't, I just, I always appreciate you so much for watching the channel, uh, supporting our sponsors, all that stuff will get us by. But if you wanna help us out that extra inch, that's what that merch is for. All right, guys, I think you've seen the whole shop. If you wanna see any more stuff, just let me know in the comments below. I'll throw it up on our Instagram or our TikTok or our whatever. And um, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, it's what's next for the DeLorean and then also a little bit of a deeper dive into the RX-7 and the Supra. And then I got another big surprise for you guys. I'll see you soon.